Hello, welcome to We're Alive Frontier. My name is Ivan Van Norman and I'll be the game master for our little journey into the West. We're excited today to share with you a story from the audio drama We're Alive, created and developed by Casey Wayland. However, our story is not scripted. It is yet to be discovered by our players as we explore this wild west that is the new frontier. Now brace yourselves, this is a horror RPG. There'll be graphic images as well as situations that players will have to make difficult decisions that the audience may find themselves uncomfortable with. But everyone has given me their consent and has discussed with me all of the matters and we're all ready to have fun. So, brace yourselves, this train is about to take off. It took 10 years to push them back, but we did. What was once a prosperous river trade, the Mississippi, is now the front line. The eastern states supply the river states, and what's left of the UA live out their meager day self-policing. What is the West hiding? Nobody really knows for sure, but we're alive, and this is the new frontier. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome to my table. Do you like it? Yes. yes. It's so fun. Yeah. My concrete <laughs> slab of horror. Yeah. It's very modern. Uh, <laughs> In a retro way. Uh, post modern. Yeah. Postmodern. Yeah. Postmodern. Yeah. Post post apocalyptic modern. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for joining me in a little game of survival horror that we get to play out and have fun with together. I'm so excited to be able to play with all of you. It's been a while, and we've been working on this for a while, and I'm just really happy that we get to be here now, roll some dice, and play a game. That being said, I do want to remind you all that this is not a game of glorified, uplifting character achievement in which you get experience points, and you become the hero of the town, and more money, more loot, more adventure. This is probably as good as it's gonna get. And it's probably gonna go downhill from here. And that is the joy of survival horror and the joy of dark RPGs, which is what we're exploring today. And to make the stakes even worse, character death, as I mentioned to all of you, is going to be a real possibility in our game. So just to reiterate on that for our audience, uh, any of our players who unfortunately pass during our session, there will not be any rolling up a new character. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to ask you to leave the table with all of your gear and your skills with you. And unfortunately, your team will have to suffer the consequences of those repercussions. At the same time, I have total faith in all of you. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. And don't worry so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, possibly go yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. I feel better now. Okay. Yay! Awesome. Hooray! Survival horror! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Outbreak and Dead is the game system we're going to be using today. And we'll be starting the game with 150 survival points. That's 30 each! Yay! Yay. Yay. While I'm going to get 20. Risk, which I will use to create hazards and potentially opponents for you all to face. As risk increases, I will obviously have more currency in which to use. So as players, it is in your favor in order to try to use or allow me to use this as much as you possibly can. It's sometimes better to face smaller dangers as things go by instead of having a bunch cashed up that then something worse could occur. Right. So keep that in mind that sometimes uh, facing little encounters or little bits of danger is easier than um, dealing with all of it at the same time. The day is June 18th, 2026. The sun is bright today. It's not only bright, but it's hot. And it may be one of the most humid on records, what little records are still available in this world. The air and the new coat of white paint on buildings makes the concrete structures around the eastern side of St. Louis feel at least 10 degrees hotter than it should be. The looming shadows of the three-story guard towers which sit along the east bank of the Mississippi watching the west side of the river cast valuable shade as laborers take breaks from driving pack animals or hauling rickshaws of goods from the torn up streets. Much of the old pavement from the New Age has been pulled up years ago and replaced with cobblestones, or brick in some areas. And the asphalt that has been melted down is now using to patch leaked roofs, as well as glued together slats of wood for barreling. Now a young man walks down the street. 
his new leather boots leaving a dust trail behind him, his tactical vest loaded up with gear, and his shining blue-black uniform already patched with sweat. His eyes are taking in the unfamiliar territory of the bustling trade that is East St. Louis. Am I missing anything? Does that sound about right, how sounds, you look? <clears throat> sounds good to me. Ah, excellent. Well, <laughs> carefully quaffed hair. <laughs> quaffed hair, yeah. pomade showing, and a glistening bright white smile. Not a speck of dust or dirt anywhere on me. <laughs> <laughs> Asher Emerson Stern III, you walk down it takes about half an hour of walking to actually get to where you need to go. In eastern St. Louis, there's lots of converted residential buildings, which have been now take the place of various storefronts, community housing centers, and some brothels. All right? Some have been demolished altogether in order to create absolutely new buildings, one of which you're walking into now. It is a wide, one-story concrete building that must take up an entire residential block. It's a state building. A man with an AK-47 guards a check-in desk while another man sits on the corner appearing to eat his lunch. The man at the counter has a badge with the name Cameron on it. <clears throat> yes, can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a Colonel Yackley. Colonel Yackley, you're here to see Colonel Yackley? That's right. All right. Hey, Rick. You watch as a young boy of about 10 years old runs over and comes over. Would you go and get Colonel Yackley for me? All right, boss. And he runs back, just booking it the entire way. He attempts off, and just a few minutes later, he watches this little boy comes back with a tall, stately man with blonde hair. Asher! Ah, sure. hey, hey, exactly. Good to see you, good man. Good to see you, my friend. How's it been? It's good. Here, let's go in my office, and we can talk a little bit. Fantastic. All right? Cameron basically takes you over into the office, and uh, he kind of shows you around a little bit of the state room. Yeah, man, I have to say, are you enjoying your time in St. Louis? You just got here, right? <laughs> it's a, a bit of a far cry from what I'm used to. Oh, well, that'll happen when you're on a river state, all right? Yeah. We don't have it as nice as some of the eastern yes. But hey, man, we're maintaining the front, and that's what matters. That you are. It is a, uh, <laughs> it's actually been pretty good, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, it's, been, it's been very quiet lately. Anyway, before we get into it further, let's just make sure we're in my office, okay? He pulls himself back a little bit as some other state officials are walking through. Um, but then he picks back up again um, after they walk by as he opens the door into his office. So, we got, uh, we got in the recommissioned APCs from your father's factory last week. Uh, do you want to see them? I could give you a tour of the motor pool if you'd like. I'd love to, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, let's, let's cover this first, and sure. then I'll move you around a little bit. You want a drink? He goes and grabs a bottle of clear, solid liquid that's in a giant liter bottle. It actually has a little bit of an amber tone to it. Why not? It's the middle of the day. All right. <laughs> he grabs a bottle and pours you out two sniffers and lays it down, grabs his drink to the first law of reacquisition. Make it safe. Make it yours. Down. <clears throat> The rail driver is ready, all right? We managed to get it over the line. And sorry to cut it straight to the business, no, but please. I know that's what you're interested in hearing. Uh, we shipped it out last night under the guise of a quick cleanse mission. So, and Asher, I have to ask you again, man. It's like, are you sure you want to go all the way out to Kansas City with just five people? I am certain, yes. You know, it's... It's okay on some of the, the, the about half a mile on the western side because we bombed the crap out of that place. But, you know, anything farther than that, a lot of it's been scrapped. And even farther out, it's still a lot of rampant infected out there. I am confident that we are prepared. All right. Well, I put everything you asked for in there. Right. So what else do you need in order to cross the river? Well, first of all, that was quite a list I gave you. I want to make sure that the... Real driver is fully stocked. Yeah, and he pulls out a manifest from a very discreet drawer that's uh, under a couple of his more well-used ones, and he hands you the folder as you open it up and see a full manifest of everything that you've requested. Wonderful. And the driver is waiting where we discussed. Yeah, I have two armed guards right now that are on the other side of the river who are watching it now waiting for you five to arrive. All right. That's the full team, right? Just Bob? That is the full team. Okay, all right. Well, the last thing is obviously we require passage across the Mississippi. <sighs> okay, well, <laughs> Asher, man, you know, um, 
I'm pulling a lot of favors for you right now. Even getting that thing across the river was, was not easy to sell. Yes, and we gave you a great deal on those APCs. So yeah. I feel like this is a, uh, we can make this happen. Okay, look, um, I can get you permits for across the river. Uh, it takes a special clearance that comes from my office, um, but I can work something out. I'm going to need everyone's government IDs, though. Not everyone on this mission is necessarily the most well integrated of individual. How might we be able to fudge that, the ID requirement? Are you telling me you have unregistered citizens in the city who are gonna be on your team? I'm telling you it's possible, and maybe you can do us a little favor. That might be outside of my control a little bit, Asher. You know, right. that's, that's uh, a little tougher. If I don't have a government ID, I can't issue a permit. Look, talk to your team, see if you can work something out. You'll be here? I'm, I, this is where I work. Okay. Well, I have to say I'm excited for what you might be able to find out there. Uh, as am I. We did a flyover, per your request, but... Thank you. The uh, yeah. helicopter only goes about 125 miles out. That's fine. Yeah, so... Um, there is a couple of outposts that we've determined along the way, but we don't know how many people are in there, so... All um, right. Oh, of course. The map. You want the map, right? I do want the map. All right. So he pulls out and rolls a large kind of topographical map that's clearly had writing done all over it. Um, we sent this ahead of time, but this is the most updated version. Right. And he rolls it out to you and hands it. Okay. I believe that does us for now. Asher, I appreciate your time, effort, and energy making this happen. And I'll honestly say we're going to put these APCs to good use. I hope uh, you do. Your family has done immense amount of efforts to make sure that not one of them crosses the river, so whatever I can do to help, I will. He shows you out through the front door in which the, you can see the small boy is <laughs> enjoying a cigarette break outside as he walks through, and uh, the Wonderful. guards have shifted out. Yeah, you know, it's either that or they're out doing worse things, so. We've come far, Asher, but it's not the old world, and it's not gonna be for a while. That is true. He closes the front door behind him as uh, he waves you off as you continue to walk back down the street. You take your half an hour walk back into the main part of the converted Market Street that is now East St. Louis, and uh, you come across your next location, which is a large storefront. And maybe it had large bay windows once, but most of the glass has been boarded up, making the actual visible windows uh, much, much smaller. And that being said, the design and the detail of the boarded up front is very well integrated. In fact, it has some small paintings on it as well as relief carvings of a city skyline that is reminiscent of old New York City. And you see someone sitting outside of the front porch. What do they look like, Ray? Olive complected, a little bit worn. Wearing a bomber jacket and a scarf around her neck. Some dirt on the shirt, some dirt on her shoes and a padlock in her hand. Now is she carrying her large, scoped 50 cal rifle with her? Always. Always. Good afternoon. Uh, I was told to meet Jenny here, if she's in. And if Jenny was in, who might she be talking to? To Asher Emerson Stern III, and she knows me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's quite a name. Thank you. Let me see if, uh, I can find someone named Jenny. Wonderful. She heads inside. All right. Uh, your team is inside. Everyone's there. It's a large room. It smells of incense and old wood. The boards beneath you creak as you enter the dark room illuminated by kerosene lanterns, as well as the limited light barreling in from outside. There's two other men sitting at a table in addition to a woman who is dealing out cards. <laughs> Well, looks like your pretty boy's here. Ah. Bring him Finally, in. we get one. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. I'm taken. Um, you sure about this? Yeah. All right, give me the balls. I followed her inside. You followed her inside? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Asher Emerson Stearns the <laughs> third. Yes, hi, Jenny, we spoke. Yes, yes. Uh, and I take it this is the team. This is the team. Ta -da. He's even younger than you thought he would be. Uh, hello. My name is Asher Emerson Stern III. 
As I believe Jenny has briefed you in part, I've commissioned this mission on behalf of my company, Stern Industries, to take a rail driver out toward Kansas City to create a new supply line. Mm -hmm. For now, that is all we need to know about it. We will discuss more as we move out toward the rail driver across the Mississippi. But for now, I'd love to get an idea of who we all are so we can acquaint ourselves and uh, get off on a good start. I love a mission where you keep some secrets just to keep it interesting later. <laughs> well, then you'll love this. Oh, good, okay. I love a man that can read sarcasm. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is Wraith. Go ahead. Infiltration. Assassination. Your name is Wraith. I am called that. Fair enough. Sir Medic. Band-Aid? Oh no, I'm actually like a sharpshooter. Oh, just named yeah. Band-Aid, it's an irony <laughs> thing. You're the jokester. No. Uh, okay, great, <laughs> Never. fantastic. <laughs> I'm the funny one. All right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We're going to have a lot trade of fun. Off that mantle. Yeah. <laughs> Band-Aid, right. So we do code names here. Yep. Fantastic. And what are you? Stingray. Stingray. But my name's Ray. Ray. Okay, that fits. And everybody knows Jenny. Yes. Lucky Jenny about town. Yes. So lucky. I'll yes. be driving the rail driver. I didn't know you got your license. Yes. Huh. Yes. Jenny has uh, talked up this team a lot. Uh, so I don't have to tell you that we're going to be going through some very dangerous territory. And the best is expected. The best of us? Your best. OK. All right. Got the code name for him. Ashhole. Oh, oh, that's great. <laughs> that's wonderful. Oh, Whoa. Okay, I like I you the most. I thought I was going to go. Well done. Yo. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, so as part of this, uh, the, that's, that's going to be a bold one to hold on to for a while, isn't that, Asher? <laughs> so, um, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, it's only fun. So uh, that is... You've all been briefed by Jenny previously that this is absolutely a mission across the river. But the one thing that wasn't brought up beforehand is, is that a lot of you were under the assumption that the rail driver was going to be on the east side, east side of the river. So this is new information, it being on the west. Yes. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be on the east side, which is safe? There was a level of discretion required in executing this. We are the first to open up this line in a very long time. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to keep news of this happening on the DL for now. That's an old world term. Yeah. Also, yeah, on lot. the DL from whom exactly? There are a lot of different organizations, people. We've worked for a lot of them. Who are we keeping the secret from? Everyone but us. I have one government contact I trust who's helping us to do this. Everyone else who might have a stake in getting this line developed needs to be kept in the dark. We will be the first there. We will be the first to develop it. We will make it safe. That's the plan. Okay. On that note, we do need permits to cross the Mississippi. For that, I've been told we all need government identification. That's not a problem for me. <laughs> How is it for you? Does it have to be our government identification? If there's no picture on it, as long as you can make a case that it is your ID, I don't care. I think, yeah, I think something can be arranged. And how about, I have no ID. I'm very surprised. I have one. Jenny, what about that guy uh, on the other side of town that you worked with on that last mission? Oh, yes. What's his name? Uh, uh, um, Malcolm? Yeah. Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that smarmy little fucker. Yeah, Malcolm's, Malcolm's been doing some black hat dealings okay. on this side of the river. He could probably forge something for you if need be. Yeah. You know? It's not going to come cheap. All right. He owes me. Okay. Lucky right. Jenny. Well, mm -hmm. as long as we're pulling favors, I could use another ID, you know? Yeah. You never have too many. Yes. I mean, I've always wanted to All be right. someone else, so why not? Okay. All right. So, three IDs? <laughs> yes, I don't really care about legality or cost. Let's just Do it. Yeah. make it happen. That's good to now know. I like him a little better. Three? All right, I thought it would just be Wraith and uh, Band-Aid at this point. Or is there a third one? Yeah? You need an ID. Everybody yeah, wants I don't have one. anything. I have um, no paperwork. We'll need three. How much money are you willing to... Let's just see what he wants okay. from us. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> so actually, Malcolm's one of those guys that happens to have maps that nobody else has. And in fact, 
he happens to live under one of the old bridges that used to span over the Mississippi, but of course was blown during the war. Since it's pretty much recommissioned, decommissioned rubble, he managed to find the little area that you have visited him on a few occasions, and he's got a little bit of, um, well, let's just say he's kind of the lord of the northern St. Louis shantytown a bit. Eastern St. Louis is a trade hub, so everybody's here, from the, the most wealthy down to the um, barely making by laborers, day laborers, indentured servants. Uh, so Malcolm's area is not an easy, it's easy to get to, but it certainly isn't easy to not stick out. So um, Wraith, Jenny, you've probably been there before, but I wouldn't imagine Band-Aid or Stingray has, certainly not Asher. So the five of you travel north into the outside of the city limits. So the original guard post that holds a huge uh, portion of the residential commercial side of East St. Louis, you walk through. Going out into the still safe zone, but most of it's covered only by the guard posts and most of it's pretty free roaming land, which is, to be fair, most of what the eastern states look like nowadays. A lot of rubble, a lot of ruins with an occasional pockets of civilization unless you're in one of the major outpost towns. So going north in the Malcolm's area, you pass by burnt out barrels that have fires in them. You can see a lot of the ragged um, lean-tos of old pieces of aluminum or torn out roofs. And Malcolm's area is essentially just a large steel door with an old uh, department of water and power seal above it um, that, uh, Jenny, you give it a knock. Okay. So, okay. tough looking guy comes out with a full beard, shaved head, and a biker jacket. Hey, Jenny! <laughs> Malcolm! <laughs> Come on. on! Thank you. Get here, darling. You're not here to collect, are you? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't have the money right yeah, now. I'm, you know I'm, what? It's all right. I don't, you know, I'll have it probably next week. Right. right. Instead of the money, I need three government IDs. Yeah, government IDs? How, how difficult is that gonna be? Uh, well, this, isn't a, this isn't a stakeout, right? You're not a... No, 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 no. Okay. Malcolm, Malcolm. Despite how all I right. look. All right, all right. Uh, we would have to tell you, because you asked. Right. So. That is the law. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can't fake that. No, well, Malcolm, you, you know. Okay, yeah. You know. No, I get it, Jenny. I know you wouldn't set me up like no, that. No, never. All right, little here, just come on inside real quick. So as you get in, you notice Malcolm's area is very, very um, not what Colonel Yackley's place is. There's piles of old electronics everywhere. You can actually see Malcolm's got a trade going on that mostly deals in old world electronics. So you have stacks of hard drives. You can actually see a couple of um, old LCDs that have hard color lines through them that he's hooked up and you can hear the whirling of an old gas generator out from behind the shed. Uh, well, <clears throat> all right, citizen IDs, those are easy. It's just basically just photocopies. But government IDs, yeah, they got relief watermarks on that still. It's a little tougher to put together, but <clears throat> I, could pro I could probably do it. So um, okay. here, let's just, let's just get everybody lined up for a photo. Who, who, uh, who, are, you, who are these gonna be for? Yeah. All right, uh, step on that mark there. <clears throat> he points you to like a little T mark where he can go and adjust a little camera. And you watch as he pulls up an old webcam uh -huh. <laughs> picture taking software uh -huh. and you can kind of see as Wraith steps up to it. It's just um, a smile. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Oh my yeah, there God. we go. That's a mug a mother could love. <laughs> all right. uh, and as he, uh, over the course of time, takes all three of your photos, he prints them out on an old desk jet, um, and you watch as he starts putting together the lamination and the relief work as he talks to you and goes, yeah, you know, um, I could get hanged for this, right? That's not gonna happen. All right. You can probably use these for a little bit, but if anyone cross-checks them against any kind of database, your probably best bet is just to get out of there as quick as you can. And we're square after this. Absolutely. All right, he basically hands you three plastic membership cards essentially that have old black and white photos on it and the name but it does have the seal of the ua printed in the bottom corner and it is for all intents and purposes the best the government can offer at this point when it comes to ids so he hands it off to you and uh 
Well, you're gonna stick around or hightail it out? I think we're gonna take off. Malcolm, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Jenny. Am I, uh, you're not, am I gonna see you anytime soon for cards? You know what, I, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be back. All right, all but, right. Uh, well, stay safe out there. Yeah. Okay? So he shuts the door behind him and um, As he, we're outside, yeah. I'm gonna look at you guys and be like, give me the IDs real quick. Yeah. And we're gonna just rub them in the dirt. Well <laughs> <laughs> and we're just gonna really well rough them up and then played. maybe go over to some of the burning fires and like kind of singe it a little bit. Like okay. these need to be like they've been held for a while. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So and even you, I can like hold it up to the fire and you can do like, whoa. Melt a <laughs> Don't melt my sweet, sweet laminations. Yeah. <laughs> That's smart. And my ID has like just this shit eating grin on it. Perfect. <laughs> so when he was like well, Peter or something. Now it smells like dirt and burnt plastic. Delicious. So done and done. Those sweet it's been ozone a while fumes. Since I smelled that. Right. Yeah, it has been a bit. So Asher, you take them back over to uh Yakli uh, who looks at them, kind of gives a shrug, and then goes over and writes down the numbers, the faked numbers, as well as the faked names and puts them down into a record. Basically, takes a piece of paper with it, folds it, stamps it, and hands it to you. All right. Well, stay safe out there. We will do our very best. Mm -hmm. We've cleared most of what's the west of the Mississippi, so just flag it, all right? And even better, if you can radio into me, because we have that, the radio is inside of the rail driver. Just radio into me and just code me which whatever the flags or if you can pop smoke on it even better all right as long as it's before the 125 mile uh, helicopter radius we'll come pick it up for you okay sounds right i'll be sure to do that and i think it goes without saying but this is like this is so off the record it had we're, better be it weird we're okay right we're, god fuck i can't believe i'm doing this all right but we're here and we've got it and it's done good luck Godspeed, and take out a few for me. I will. So you five meet back up outside of the government station, and um, at this point, well, at this point, we can start our first mission. Yeah. yeah. We have permits. We are good to cross, provided nothing else comes up. And we will meet up with the rail driver and proceed from there. So this is officially a lay low mission. Which you're all basically yes. trying to cross the your line. First one we're all very familiar with. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll either stealth or diplomacy checks, whichever favors you the most, mm -hmm. and uh, then you can just tell me your degrees of success and degrees of failure. Then we'll start this thing. Fantastic. Right. First roll of the game. Yeah. And uh, for uh, cameras' purposes, instead of having tokens or just you holding up the fingers, these will represent any degrees of success, and these will represent any degrees of failure that you might have. Oofa doofa. Oofa doofa indeed. So uh, you've all made your die rolls, and uh, let's resolve our degrees of success and degrees of failure. For every 10 under, you get a degree of success. For every 10 over, you get a degree of failure. So, um, Wraith, how many degrees of success or failure did you get? I'm using stealth, not diplomacy. That's uh, fine. And I got five. You have five. <laughs> Woof. All right, well, Didn't would you mind the passing idea. five degrees of success? <laughs> well, he just sneaks all of us across. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> Jenny, how I about you? To touch the yeah. success. Um, I rolled a 94. <laughs> Which is how many degrees of failure? <laughs> five. Ah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> We're about all to run right. out of these. Uh, hey, it's better to no, do it good. now. Yeah, right. yeah, get it out. And <laughs> also, can't we balance each other? Ooh. That's where we're going to get at, yeah. yeah. So would you hand those to Jenny? All right. Band-Aid. So it's against my diplomacy roll, uh, score of 44, and I rolled a 47, so zero, zero. Zero, zero. <coughs> okay, so you're a wash. Great. Uh, Ray. Uh, it's against my stealth roll of 38, and I rolled a 10, so I've got two degrees of success. Great. Here's your two. And Asher Emerson oh, I, Stern the third. That's me. <laughs> Every time. Every oh, that time. Is you? <laughs> I rolled against my uh, diplomacy command. Yeah. And I got zero failure. Zero failure. So you're also to zero. Yeah. Okay, great. So you guys can basically spend your degrees of success and degrees of failure as you want, but we have to resolve all the degrees of failure and degrees of success before this mission ends. Uh, Wraith, do you want to tell me what happens? All right. So as we pull up to this checkpoint, uh, Wraith takes a look at it, and he just doesn't like the look of there are too many people standing around and all that. 
and he sees her looking kind of nervous. So I, I reach out and go, you know that we can do this the old-fashioned way. Come, come with me. There's a side street over here. Yeah. I see a way to get across. And what you're talking about is an, <laughs> is an old underhang that's part of this, because this, this one bridge that comes across the, the Mississippi has the rail line on it. So this guard post is two stories, and you're right, Wraith, there is armed guards all up on the top of it with searchlights mm -hmm. and everything that a guard post should have, and just enough room for a train to come by with a chain link fence where someone is essentially asking as a desk officer over See? there. See? Easier than talking. <laughs> oh, yeah. You could just duck underneath and walk under the bridge if you wanted to. Pretty much, yeah. I would like to argue we do have the permits for a reason. If we're caught trespassing across, that is an automatic no-go for us. We look suspicious, we're stopped, we're accosted, it's over. And you say this to a bunch of empty space as both <laughs> okay. yeah. and Jenny have Let disappeared go. underneath the bridge. Listen, just Let a dust cloud. He <laughs> does that. Yeah. <laughs> and you three are left open to the idea, and you see as the, the man in the guard post up front holds his hand up. Stop. Permits, please. No problem. He walks up. Grabs oh, them. Have, oh, I have the permits, yeah. Cool. Like you I have your it. IDs, I have the permits. He takes all three of them, puts out little eye pace, looks at them, comes through. Uh, yep. Looks all to be in order. Thank you. And as you two uh, start walking through, open. All right. See you later. As he opens the door and shuts it. Wow. Don't die out there! Oh. So, Ray, you've got two degrees of success to resolve, so let's finish that out real quick. As you are walking out from the gate, you actually hear one of the guardmen go, Wait, 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 hold on! Hey, you! He points over to you. Come back here real quick. No one can cross the river without at least some kind of beacon or marker so that we don't shoot you. So, uh, here, and he kind of grabs your backpack and comes onto the back and pulls a flashlight and mounts it onto the back of your backpack that is now has a static blinking green light huh. on the back of it and goes, it's a real flashlight too and you can turn it off once you've cleared the kill zone, but none of you are close to that. The snipers will take you out. That would have been good to know a little while ago. Yeah, but I'm glad uh, you stopped us, well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, well, you, you're all moving hey. so fast. Hey, hey, hey. So. good looking there. out. Thank yeah, you. I got you. I will uh, take your two degrees of success, and for that, um, if you'd like to cash it out immediately for a flashlight, we can. You can have a flashlight. I would like a flashlight. Okay, go grab a flashlight from the crate, then, please. Nice. From our magical mystery crate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mimic. Oh, oh God! Oh, no. <laughs> this is great. It's also it doubles as a periscope. Yeah. What's that? So that'll be the beacon in order to make sure that you guys can cross the kill zone um, without anything. It also doubles as a practical flashlight as well, too. So, here's your card for your flashlight. Merci. All right, great. And that goes in our stash. And that goes in your stash, which is everything. So all of your personal gear is up there right now, and as you are rewarded more, or you buy more, or it is to get it taken away from you, we will uh, do accordingly at the, with the back. All right? Cool. Fantastic. Word. So actually, Jenny and Wraith, as you guys are coming up from the underside of this uh, converted bridge that is also the only way across the river for at least, well, I'd call it several dozens, if not maybe a hundred miles or so, um, I imagine both of you coming up along the side or maybe together along one end, pulling yourself up on the old, uh, uh, old rail that maybe is covered with long braided wire that allowed any kind of loose pieces that made fall off boxcars or whatever to not just plop into the river. Um, but what do you look like, Wraith? Uh, so yeah, you see Wraith ahead of you climbing up nimbly over the, the broken bits of concrete and exposed rebar and, and braided wire. And he's wearing a bunch of drapey, sort of tattered stuff. And looks like he has these sort of crisscrossed belts and things that look like um, like climbing gear. Mm -hmm. But then you also notice he's wearing like, looks like it's strapped across his back. Uh, he has like what looks like a medieval sword. <laughs> um, and then he also has like a combat knife and a compound bow. Right. And um, yeah, and he's got he's also got a, a hood, which he wears up. And he's looking kind of mysterious. <laughs> so. so mysterious. So I mysterious. Mean, yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, 
he climbs up quickly, and then he like, kind of looks down at you like if you need any help, and you can see that he's kind of gauging to see how good you are at this stuff. Mm. Right. Uh, Jenny, what does he see? All right, he sees a woman, obviously, <laughs> uh, in a grungy jumpsuit. Mm. The top half is tied around her waist. She's got um, a knitted sweater, it's dirty, and she's got wild hair, braids, and kind of dreadlock style going on, and she's got um, a choker and some some skull some jewelry. Bobbles. Yeah, bobbles yeah. Going on. And then she has a necklace that you can't you can't see what is at you know the bottom of this necklace. Mm. Got it. So a concealed necklace, yes. carrying um, beyond just uh, uh, all of her uh, accoutrements, but she's also got a long assault rifle. Right. I've got an AK-47. AK-47. And I have a machete. And a machete. And a pistol. Which you know clangs against her legs a little bit yeah. as she pulls herself up mm -hmm. from the bottom of this uh, a bridge that is also a rail line, as Colonel Yackley insinuated a little bit. West St. Louis is a completely bombed out, rubble-filled hellhole. Any buildings that have been uh, previously part of the infrastructure have been bombed, smashed, and reduced to just small chunks of concrete and or stone. And everything has been picked clean, so much so that even broken glass was taken over, melted down in order to reuse. The only building that still is intact in any particular way is where the UA held a magnificent battle while the engineers blew the last bridges connecting the unsecured lines across the river. That's the old aquarium. Mm -hmm. So this aquarium is the most majestic ten standing fixture that's still on the west side of the river. As you start to get closer and closer to the train station, the St. Louis train station you all know where it is. It's on your map, okay? As you approach the train yard, you can actually see the GNS Railway Company <laughs> boxcars of course. Uh -huh. that are lined up amidst the rail station. It's extremely well, they've been they've been picked clean, but since a lot of these boxcars are either uh, old or rusted through. Most of these are non-moving, or else they would have been brought in over east of the river. So they've even either fallen off their tracks, or their wheels are so rusted that even solvent can't break them loose enough to be able to push them across the river. As you get closer, you can start to hear the voices of some men. And they seem to be, well, at least at this point, you can't hear what they're saying, but they sound gruff, and they sound like way more than two at this point. In fact, you can start to hear two men arguing, hurry up, <clears throat> get that son of a bitch loaded. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time. For all we know, more of those UA bastards might come back. So just get it on the handcart. God damn it, Jim, don't drop that. We're getting looted. Yeah, son of a bitch. <laughs> and you can hear this arguing going on as one man are, is yelling at another. And so we're like, I'm, I'm trying, Jimmy, but Jesus, this shit's heavy. What's in here? And you start to hear his proppings opening, and you can hear like the pulling of crate is starting being turned up a little bit. Do, yeah, yeah uh, I'm just I'm, stuff. I'm just walking up with my gun. Cool, same. Well, can we do a spot listen to determine how many people exactly are here? You can hear uh, at least half a dozen men yelling. Okay. At this stage, half a dozen men yelling, ostensibly all armed. So, Asher. The best way to do this at the moment is to write out your intent. At this point, you've got the drop on these guys. Right. All right. So. You can tell me how you want to plan this engagement out. You're probably not going to have a lot of time. That's fair. But at this stage, you can basically tell me how you would like this engagement to go down. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right now we have all of us and a boxcar, the rail line between us and these guys over here yeah. who are looting our rail driver. Which is yeah. presumably on another rail a little farther down. Yes. Okay, the rail driver's like, or their car is... The next down. car down, yes. Okay, got you. So we can approach either from the left or the right, but this is the only thing standing between us. Right now, yes. Is that accessible from the backside? Yes, you could theoretically open the grate up, but it's shut at the moment. Mm -hmm. so. Meaning opening it would completely reveal our presence, essentially. It'd make noise. It, okay. would ma it presumably would make noise. Can it be climbed? Is there a ladder? There is a ladder on the side. 
Okay. And there are other boxcars on <clears> the other <throat> side? Uh, yeah, but they're not pressed up against it in any particular way. I feel way. like a direct approach is going to be best anyway, because look, even if we got Wraith up on the top to like get the drop on them, then none of us can shoot into the crowd because we're going to hit him. So, let's do that. What's if, going on? I, I, I'm suggesting what you actually suggested first, which mm -hmm. is simply having a front-on approach here, going around, locked and loaded, ready to go. All right, so let's write your intent out. So, number one, Asher is going to be coming around the right. Band-Aid. So, since I'm not great in a fight, I'm, I'm proposing that I could go sneak into one of the other boxcars and make a bunch of noise as a distraction. Like, slam. Okay. Great. Do we have a boxcar on this side? You have a boxcar to your left or to the right. It's about 25 feet or so down. Oh, okay. it's not next to well, It's not next to I can make enough noise. Yeah. He's loud. I'm whiny. Great. So, so uh, Band-Aid? Band-Aid is going to be, so what's going to happen to, or to make this engagement, it's actually fine. You're, you're just going to be, the intent is what I'm most interested in. So, okay. uh, Asher, write your intent, which is to come around the right. In words. In words, one. Okay. Intent, one. Asher, on the right. All right. Stingray <laughs> is climbing up on the top. Who? Who? <laughs> Band-Aid's hiding in a boxcar. We're <laughs> <laughs> the boxcar children. Guys, it's a giant iron closet. Delightful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's there's space Penny. underneath the boxcar, right? Absolutely. Like, so oh. what if we lay on the ground and like take out their legs? I don't know. Like, what if you we could. just yeah, yeah? Like, why don't we do whatever we? Jenny's can going prone Jenny's going underneath prone. the All boxcar. Right. And uh, mm -hmm. Wraith. I want to uh, slap up against the the back of the the box car that's in front of us, mm -hmm. so that if anybody goes over towards the distraction, mm -hmm. I can shoot them with my bow. Great. Bam! So. so just so you guys know the context of this situation, uh, I rolled to see how much they would hear you coming and how quickly, and I got a solid 100. So, oh. yeah, I got a solid 100. So we're good. So you're, you got the drop on them. Great. All right, so we have our intent locked, right? Yep. Yep. Great. Asher, as you walk around the corner of the boxcar, you can actually see this whole train station laid out in front of you. There are several boxcars that are patched on various parts of the rails that's across a essentially broken and deserted ground. Any kind of foliage that was part of this that may have overgrown has been dried out and either burnt away from fire being dropped earlier or just completely undergrown. So most of it's patches of rubble with a couple of tufts of grass popping up occasionally. And you can actually see the large boom arm of what was probably once a service vehicle that's now just decrepit and swaying in the occasional breeze. And you can hear and now see the six men, one of them standing on a crate yelling at the men trying to unload boxes from your rail driver. And you can see they've already started to make a pretty sizable stack on one of the hand carts that's just sitting next to the unloaded rail. Uh, at the same time, one man is holding a guy in a chokehold with the gun pointing to his head, and he's the first one that sees you. Guys, we have company. What do you want? <clears throat> I believe this is my rail driver. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Looks like someone's coming back for his wallet. Well, I'm sorry to say, I think it's our rail driver now. Right, buddy? And you can see as this man who is white with fear, is currently looking at you with terrified eyes. And he's got the uniform of one of the Missouri uh, officers, or one of the Missouri military men in place, and you can see that he's had everything stripped off of him. His extra ammo, his belt, even his pants are on his ankles at the moment, just humiliated. And he's looking at you, and he's going, God, man, just, just don't do anything stupid, okay? Fuck, dude, just, just, just get me out of here, okay? Shut up, shut up, as he puts the going closer lens. Now you're gonna back away real slowly as we unload this car and we go along our merry way. Okay, I'd like to begin shooting. All right, <laughs> so with the intents laid out here, let's get our combat diorama up and start this first encounter. So Asher, you've come around and right now this is what you see. You see these six raiders with one gentleman, the guy with the red Uzi there, who is currently holding our poor pantsless soldier at the moment, sitting there. I can only imagine what transpired here. Feared going on. Um, now, since we're starting combat here, mm -hmm. you've you declared your intent, you want to shoot. I want to begin shooting, yes. You want to begin shooting. So uh, you can place your mini where you'd like, which by the way, 
courtesy, thank you, of Hero Forge. All those Raider minis and all of the character minis were lovingly provided by Hero Forge, so thank you, Hero Forge. These are awesome. In fact, They're all beautiful. the character ones are the bronze ones, and they painted so well, and they have and weight. They're heavy, too. Like they're yeah, they're, yeah. Yeah. Dan's are strong. Really awesome. Dirty. So, uh, yes, Asher. All right. Tell me your intent again and place your mini. I'm going to begin shooting, and I'll even show you who here. Great. So I've come around the right side. Right. And I'm positioning myself between these guys and the fellow in the back. Mm -hmm. And I want to start on this guy. Okay. And currently my intent is only to shoot the one guy. Sure. Okay, we'll that's great. So then what I'm going to have you do is uh, take two speed dice in addition to your check. And how speed dice work is they are essentially your initiative. So as with everything in this game, the lower is better. So the more dice I give you, the more likely you will go later in the round. Sure. So you're shooting your gun. But you got to drop on these guys, but it's still two speed. And now I do have the uh, marksman ability, yeah. meaning I get to remove one speed die to a minimum of one when using my pistol. Against multiple targets? No, that's just, uh, just flat. Oh, just flat? Yeah. Oh, great. Well, then you get to roll one speed dice then. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Stingray, what's your intent? Uh, I'm going to call down to the asshole who's holding our little hostage yeah. and say, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm intimidated. Yeah. That's pretty menacing. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. Don't Is think that intimidating? So. Great. And it's, who's your dude? Her? This dude? Yeah. All right. I am right. He's holding the, they he's took his pants. Yeah. He's holding, he's yeah. holding hot. You Great. do not take a man's pants while I'm around. Yeah. So uh, uh, take two speed dice. Um, no, I to too have marksmen. Is that effective with a rifle? Uh, if you've your, chosen rifle, I yeah. have. Well, obviously, I don't see what gun I have. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so that reduces you to one. All right. Band-Aid. Band-Aid hoofs it to this car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I'm just going to be, I'm inside. Let's use our imaginations. Okay. Uh, is there a, a opening here? Yeah, like, so it's a, it's a, um, it is like a loading container mm -hmm. and uh, like a large ship container type that they would put onto the rail cars. Uh -huh. So the door happens to be conveniently cracked open just a bit. So that you're, if you're going to be peeking out of that, that's full cover for you. Yeah, man. All right. I'm peeking. Peeking. <gasps> Jenny. All right. Okay. So I know it doesn't look like it, but there is space underneath for me to yeah. lay down. I pull out my AK-47. Oh, there would be wheels. It would have, right. the wheels yeah, would have so it be, be up like, a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. It is there a decommissioned rail car. All right. So. You. And who are, are you just targeting spray and prey? Okay. So great. the just, hostage. Just don't uh, hit him. I'll try not. To, uh, yeah. Just look I'm for gonna the avoid. Pants I'm gonna look. Like, yeah. I look for well, the I'm pants the far, around the I'm ankles, the far right and there. I don't avoid the pants. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And you made a mental note of what his shoes look like. Yeah. yeah. They're very They're nice. Very clean. <laughs> very yes. clean shoes. And Wraith, what about you? Um, well, I'm slapped up on the other end of the car, um, and I've just drawn my an arrow on my compound bow. Awesome. So I'm over. Do you want to go for that dude on the far left? Well, I, I'm waiting for people to like, get distracted. Oh, okay. And moving over. All right. And then moving over. And I'm going to fire from, from cover. From I'm cover. Slapped up with the bow. Great. Okay. So, uh, Jenny, you are taking two speed dice. Right. And I have mm. marksmen. Right. I changed, I changed, <laughs> well, it was originally for my pistol, but no. I changed it to the AK. The, yeah. All right. Yeah. So take one, one less <laughs> dice. And I have marksmen for boxcars? <laughs> <laughs> uh, since you hoofed it over, uh, I'm just going to give you two speed dice since you're not doing anything more complicated uh, yeah. than that. Wait, sorry. What did two you say? speed dice for you. Okay. Yeah, because you're hoofing it over. All right. All right. All right. And uh, hang out, Wraith, buddy. you're on. You're essentially just. Are you waiting for something to? I'm. I'm basically waiting to see if anybody runs towards well, the distraction. Well, now at this that... point, like I, they all see me. We 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 botched the distraction. You have, yeah. no, and you the intent. See my distraction. And the in, the <laughs> okay. intent. The intent is essentially. It's all simultaneous. Yeah. You yeah. know. So if you're on the other side, this is just. This is all just kind of happening at the same time. So you, if, until you lock your intent and you're done, you can yeah. change it. I, I still want to just try to cover. Right. To see if anybody. What I'm, what I'm going to ask you is, if you want to do a a triggered action, so if you yeah. want to wait, I will 100% uh, allow you to either make a composure or a will yeah. check, whatever's stronger. And if you have any degrees of success that you want to make for this, then um, I'll allow you to basically 
uh, change your intent to wherever you want next round. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna kind of count down in my head, and right. if if it seems like there's nobody coming for the car and his right. distraction isn't working, right. then I'll probably step out and try to shoot whoever I can see. Okay, perfect. it is very lightly because they've all seen me now. So before yeah. we right, before we make yourself. checks, saying, you haven't seen his distraction yet. You don't know. <laughs> I'm about yeah. to be yeah. shot no. by everybody at once. <laughs> Not true. By the way, everyone everyone who is uh, um, for uh, for Wraith for you who is hoping to have a triggered action, I'm yeah. actually gonna make you just make the will check right now to see if you can hold it. Okay. All right? So, I've actually just failed with zero. And so let's all resolve our checks. Uh, I need damage as well. I also need damage, two damage. Oh, oh yeah, dice. should be, a, yeah, dice one for damage. everybody. Send him down one damage. Mm -hmm. you need? What one for you me, Yeah, because you got the, the, the AK. Just one. Uh, two, right? Uh, and do you want me to roll percentiles for anything? Uh, for uh, for you, yeah. no, because you're just hoofing it. Cool. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. I thought I was in place. You are. Oh, you are in place. Actually, that's that's, that's a great point. You didn't actually move it over. So stand by, real quick, guys. Um, Band aid. We already said everyone was in position when he went to. So if you wanted to either shoot or do something or do your distraction from here, that can be your intent for this round. Yeah. So I'm not going to shoot. I'm going to um, charge the side of the just boom. Box car. Yeah. Then you don't need to check for that. I'm already rolled. Yeah. Let's all roll. Let's all roll. Get your degrees of success and failures. Fuck Bump me. Line. Stand by. Wow. All right, guys. So it looks like Raider 1 and Raider 2 are up first. So Raider 1, which is the gentleman holding the baseball and the shield, he is going to turn around and you look at him and he's got his, I think that one's got a mask on, right? That one's got a mask, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got a mask on. You watch him turn as he pulls this old uh, riot shield, this like SWAT issued riot shield, as he pulls yeah. up a large baseball bat that is just laden with nails and, cro and uh, yes. barbed wire. And you can actually see that he put a spike at the tail end of I the bat I regret my well bravado. <laughs> <laughs> and he I holds the theme of Asher. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he basically like, he turns right next to you and looks at you and just takes a wild swing right for the side of your face. It's allow you to react with a dodge if you'd like. Yeah, I'd like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Into the pit we go. You got this. Shit. Okay. All right. uh, what do we got? That's uh, one failure. One degree of failure. Yeah. Okay. So you can resolve this how you'd like, but at this case, you're either, either going to put yourself in a compromising position or I'm going to add more damage. Yeah, I'll take compromising. Okay. I bring my arms up to try and block the back coming right. at me. And you feel it just impact <laughs> right against the side of your arms as you feel the stinging of the nails as well as the bite of the baseball bat. But you actually were braced enough that it didn't knock you prone and a lot of your padding is actually taking inside of it. So right now I've got um, eight, two damage dice against you for a total of eight. Better so. bust out the antiseptic, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You which, now. which doesn't go over your, which doesn't go over That's your damage you threshold. It. It does not. So you do not sustain but an I'm injury. Close. But you're basically hurting. At the same time, the raider who looked at you immediately, looking straight up, seeing you pulling the gun out and seeing Ray up May at the I very top. Which raider is doing that right now? The 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 raider who's holding the hostage. Oh, the, oh, the Uzi man over there. The Uzi, Uzi man. man is looking so Uzi man okay. looks up to both Stingray, looks over to Asher, who is who is in the midst of doing this full block, pulls the trigger. <laughs> you watch his like brain matter splatters uh, all across fine. the side as blood falls down and he slumps down ted, dead to the ground. I have as no he hope levels his him. pistol up towards where uh, Stingray is up at the top. So with that said, oh thank God Stingray. He I have one degree of failure. So um, that's for you. We can uh, we can resolve it through this round how you wish, but how would you like to resolve your failure? Well, I was going to aim for Uzi fucker before he shot the dude. I like that name. It suggests something else. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to aim for him before. Uh, so I can I just resolve that by egregiously missing? You could do it absolutely by egregiously missing. Didn't and, have to say egregiously. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so missing. you'll take a yeah, so you'll take a depletion, which means you spent a shell for your bolt action. Right. So, uh, take a white is? dice for a depletion point. So, Stingray, the reaction of seeing this man's fear-stricken face yeah. looking at you, 
hoping that you will save him as his exit wound clears out at everything, leaving all sentience out of his face as he slumps down to the ground yeah, with this man. Yeah, it shocks me into missing. It shocks you straight into missing, and you watch as a little kick of dust comes up right next to the side of him as your high-caliber rifle cracks into the midst of the air. So, uh, Band-Aid, you're up next. All right, as soon as I get in there, what what is around me in this boxcar? Is it completely empty? It's completely empty. empty. Cool, good. Yeah. So I'm going to go <laughs> back against like the far wall right. and just take a running start and just Boom. shoulder it and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Asher and all of you, you watch as several of the men start to turn their heads to the side, hearing something, hoping that, that it's a scream. Maybe it's not infected. Next we is Jenny. Come on, come on. Woo! Okay. What up? Right. Um, and yeah, it's just one degree of success. Okay. So, so you can either spend that for more damage, or you can continue to uh, uh, do additional actions or reactions in the game as well, too. Or I could just buy it off of you for survival points if you're happy with your damage rolls. More damage. Well, um, we more or additional see, targets. Yeah, additional targets. Yeah. Additional targets. Yes. Can you do that with only one? Well, at this point, she was spraying and praying, sure. so I'll yeah. uh, I'll allow it okay. for the moment. Well, again. I mean, the one person she didn't want to kill yep. is already dead. Yeah. Two. Two. Okay. So Jenny, as you level down, you feel the kick of your AK <laughs> as you basically watch it sink through a couple of the uh, ankles of a couple of the men, and uh, one of them just like dances as he lifts his legs up, uh, not really knowing what's happening. But one of them is screaming, prone as he ah! Ah! as he falls down holding his machete just grasping a hold of his legs you can watch his blood is starting to pool from the side Thank of his God. face was that the right the side okay. of his leg like, no. no. okay. okay. i've still got him in front of me great asher's up I'm, yeah i'm shooting the guy who's just like right here right you shouldn't miss that yeah so one's exploding adding two more oh god right it's right here here we go oh You've Holy leveled this guy. <laughs> yes, easily. He's done. Describe to me his gruesome death. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> he gets me with the bat. Right. And I get up under that, I get it under my arm like this, pull it forward, Yes. get behind the shield like this, and get him right oh, underneath no! with the gun. As he literally flops back, you watch as the dust kick up on the side of him. So, you uh, officially made the second casualty of the encounter by dropping him completely to the floor. So he is not getting back up. Well, what's happening right now? Let's see. Right. And so I could target uh, another dude. Honestly, I think Uzi guy is more of a threat right now. And I'm going to trust that Wraith is going to take out the obvious target on the left there. I hope. Well, if we'll he see. moves, <laughs> if he moves, <laughs> I can like see you if you, you don't move. You like gradually T-Rex. turn into the Swedish chef. <laughs> 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 okay. So are these three, are these three yeah. going to become damage? Yes. All right. So then roll so one out of intent one and then three for damage. All right. Roll. Th- That's four, seven, nine. So <clears throat> you, after doing this chin shot, and it was. Badass. Uh, you level your gun and take it to the Uzi, who you blast him in the shoulder, and he ah! screams as he moves his gun over to the side of his arm where he is now feeling it pretty intensely. And uh, he starts doubling over in pain, but he switches his hands back over to apply pressure to the wound as he's shakingly trying to move his Uzi back out into the Ooh. world. So, um, but he is. He is, he is screaming in, in, in agony at this moment. Then uh, that would be there, and now we have our gentleman on the who is prone. He is not getting up, so his turn is forfeit. Uh, and then he's gonna try to shoot, so. All right, he's going to. So the gentleman, or I keep calling him gentlemen, but they're raiders. Ah, he's not right. a gentleman. There's no gentleman in the mm, post of ruffians. <laughs> So the ruffian who just took a giant <laughs> bullet wound into the side level and basically as he tries to just do a wide spray and everybody gets their head down as it just kind of, you hear it tink, 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 tink against various parts of the box car and you watch as basically everyone puts their head down but he gets nothing as he kind of shoots wildly into the night, into the morning. Um, and then the <laughs> other the one, the one who is so obviously to the left, also pulls out his gun and uh, looking towards, uh, looking over his shoulder for a moment, hoping that there isn't any infected around, he, uh, he basically- Keep going, Band-Aid! <laughs> he pops a few shots off with his gun, but they miss uh, just off, the, you can hear as the bullets are 
by you wow. as uh, as to the left of you, you're, everything is Thanks, kind man. of well played, yeah. moving across. So that's the first round. We can now go back to doing intent again. Boy, that was a big risk. The guy who was uh, the guy who is currently on top of the um, the box, who is currently yelling orders, uh, is he has jumped oh, yeah, off of his the box. The, the dude that from behind looks like. Yeah, you see Deadpool? his head peeking up okay, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. that guy. It looks like that's what he looks like, but from back here. <coughs> this, this, guy, this guy, this this uh, this Daniel. Yeah, like a nondescript like a... superhero in a red suit. Right. He hops down <gasps> as he starts running along the rail line towards Asher, but he's heading towards the hand cart. As he basically hops on top of the rail cart, looking to his guys and goes, "Hold them off!" As he hops onto the hand cart and starts lifting it and pumping it down. <laughs> Uh, all right, and now let's go and do intent again. Uh, Asher? Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Now this guy with the bat is running past me toward the hand cart. Well, he's running towards you, all along the rail line, yes. Awesome. So, what I'd like to do is move back just behind the lip here, yeah. so I'm not a target for these guys here, and then take a shot at the guy coming at me right here. So you're tar targeting the guy in the hand cart? That dude. All yep. right, the leader. Mr. Okay. Batman. Great, uh, so that is yours. Uh, how about you, Miss Ray? I'm going to let you handle the duder with the bat okay. and uh, handcart guy, and I am going to aim down at Mr. Uzi. All right, Band-Aid. Um, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> make a ruckus. Make a yeah. lot of yeah. inward singing noises. Yeah, like, you know, make like him start making infected ah. noises. All right, great, great. Love All right. that. Um, so no check for that. You're you are you are doing your thing, Jenny. I'm gonna use my AK-47 again. I'm just gonna still legs. Shoot, spray. yeah, shoot at some ankles. Okay, <laughs> so same same role as last time, Ben. Okay. And Wraith. Now it doesn't seem like any of these guys are coming for this distraction. Well, if anything, they you you can hear them because he's making such a ruckus. They're actually going away from the box car. More okay. Than anything you can you can see out of the corner of your eye that guy to the left. He's clearly like inching away from it. Um, and you as, have like a straight shot. As he's heading, as he's heading towards where, uh, all, presumably, all, as far as your line of sight is concerned, okay. down the rail car. So, as a benefit from the all the extra speed that I got from the previous yes, round, yes, can I basically like go, go around the corner, like with yeah. my bow drawn, and take like <clears throat> a very precisely aimed shot yeah. at uh, the one that's, clo that's closest to me, the one Absolutely. with the, the shotgun kind of thing? Who's yeah. Well, let's check everyone's speed. Asher, what's your speed? Oh, I didn't roll yet. Roll yeah. Oh, let's all roll it up, everybody. Rolling up speed. Great, so I've got uh, all of my speed laid out for our Raiders. Stingray, you're up first. I want to aim directly at the Uzi Duder. So on top of whatever damage dice you rolled, you can spend those for more damage if you want. Word, I would like to take more damage, because okay. I only have three Raiders. Then roll more damage. Yeah, you want to polish them off? I really do. Watch <laughs> it's all like ones. Don't curse it. Oh, don't, don't, no, oh you, God. Success through lowered expectations, oh, guys. Really, Come man. on. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no I didn't more see it. that. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, wow. but I also had the other damage. Let's be clear. She rolled a one, a one, a one, a one. Oh, no, it was two twos, two, two ones. Two. Oh my god! All right, so this is also also damage from from uh, from him doing stuff as well too. So as you level, as you level the uh, your stop it. <laughs> as you level your scoped hunting rifle onto him and pop a shot straight through, you actually watches it hits him right in the chest, and you watch as he kind of he has a. Um, he has what's clearly like a bulletproof vest on, but it's just thrown over the top of his vest at the moment. And you watch as he just kind of like <clears throat> sucks the gut, but he, he bends down and you watch as he kind of like curls up into a little bit of a fetal position. As far as you can tell, he's not getting back up, but he's still wailing from the pain. He's made of tougher stuff. He's alive. So, yes, well, he's alive, yes. He's alive. All right, so Wraith, you're next. Oh, with uh, a four. All right, so I got two degrees of success. Oh, Band-Aid's next with oh, yeah. a three. It's okay. It's, I, it's very important what I'm doing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, You're a vital screamer. I'm going to take out my knife yeah. and use the handle to bang on. <laughs> 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 That's innovation. <laughs> Uh, well, at this you point, the inward singing, like, you like can the all, but I don't want. It. Yeah, you okay. can, you can, you can, uh, you can all hear the rattling and banging at this point. But it is absolutely noise that is clearly has everybody up on edge. But right now, you can tell the least. Uh, well, you can't tell anything. No. But you four are definitely seeing that it's just putting everybody on edge a little bit as they're all 
for whatever morale you've you've done on this is broken, you're going to see them all starting to get to the point of where they're more ready to run at this stage. You're psyching yeah. them out. So yeah. Doing my job. Yeah. Shoot them in the back. Um, okay, now Wraith with a four. All right. So I got. Uh, I turn around the corner. Yeah. I think I really just want to go for it. Shoot yeah. this guy right in the collarbone, all basically. Right. So another two. Uh, another two damage. Can you pass me down, or I can just use. Oh yeah, two. use those two. So it's I've got, eleven. I've got eleven, and then we're gonna have another. Another seven to that, so 18. Speak of me, his grisly demise. <laughs> okay, so I, uh, I let loose the arrow and I say, seek. <laughs> oh, of course you do. I imagine and then you it come just, in slow-mo with yeah. all your like, future months like, flowing. <laughs> right? like, so, so the arrow just almost like spirals oh my God. into the, the space right at the base of his neck. <gasps> And before he can let out a scream, he just like yeah, you just see like blood just pools in a puddle, filling his collarbone. And collar it just bone. comes out of his mouth out as you mouth. watch as it's dripping down, and he kind of grabs his neck as you can hear him wheezingly, <laughs> gasping for breath as he slumps <laughs> over, <laughs> eyes wide open, completely dark. <laughs> so uh, uh, yes, one hundred percent, you have taken him down in a, in a gruise in a. Truly gruesome fashion. Can I can I knock over his figure? Absolutely. <laughs> no. I'd like that. Yes, you like, may. How cute you were about that. <laughs> for, such a, for such a badass. He's got to have an undignified death moment. scream too. Okay. Yeah. The one raider who is still standing at this point is going to be running and moving. So cool. I got two degrees of success. Go for Ooh. it. Yes. Just ankles. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So that is definitely enough to um, the 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 one who is prone, who you ankled previously. Mm -hmm. Another burst fire will basically end him very quickly <laughs> as you as it comes down. You just clear him uh, for whatever he's worth as he is no longer moving, and uh, this guy is running. <clears throat> straight for the handcart as well too, as he takes a couple of stray shots at uh, Stingray, who's still up there, and exposed at the top of the rail car, at the top of the box. Is this car. Uzi Boy? No, not Uzi Boy. Uzi Boy is also oh, that's prone other guy. and just just gut wrenchingly having a bad time. But he pulls his sidearm and kah, 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 takes a couple of shots as he's basically running up because he's got one as well, and they pop on the handcart. He is just hurting on the floor. Okay, Asher, with speed six, you're the last one up. That's me. Get it. Okay, I can't do enough damage unless they explode to kill them both. There's no you way. You have to kill them, but you can slow them down. But then they can shoot at me. Oh, fuck that. I'm gonna burn one of these to like move away. Do it. So, I'm gonna do, let's do three extra damage on Bat Dude. All right. Um, just to clean him up. Jeez. Oh, ah, yes! So he takes a bullet into the side, and you can see that everyone's wearing a little bit of armor, but yeah. you just basically watch as it, <laughs> you basically takes the hit as he's pumping the car and just continuing to move, but he's got his hand on, on his back of them as you're watching as blood starts to spout from the white sh undershirt that he's wearing. Fantastic. So. They're on the hand car. They're on the hand car. Oh, they're out of here. They're trying to get out of here. Yes. Oh, I see. Do we need that handcart to get to the... They took some of our crap. Some of our stuff's on it. On the handcart. Yeah, yeah, they took our stuff. You know what? Yeah, screw it. I'm going to spend one success to move. All right. So I'm not an obvious target. Jump on the cart. Dude, you can jump on the cart. <laughs> you can't hiding I'm in, in the, the box. box car. Stop talking. He's doing valuable boxcar work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm already on two damage dice right now. I'm I good. I know. Uh, great. You basically spend your last degree of success in order to run around the boxcar, getting yourself in full cover. Yeah. Out of the way. Okay, solid. So at All this right. point, we're back at the uh, top. <clears throat> uh, so let's make this perfectly clear. We need to kill these two. Yeah. Because we need our shit. So Wraith, I'm going to start on your end of the table with your intent this time. So yeah, I want to I wanna take a shot at um, whichever one looks the most injured. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably Batman, Bat Dude. Bat Dude. Yeah. God. Who's on the Who's on the uh, farthest side of the hand card at the moment? He is. He's yeah. He he's further. Mm, actually, you know what? If he's got one hand on the pump thing and he has a bat in the other, he doesn't have a ranged weapon. So I think I'm actually going to go for the other guy instead. Okay, got... uh, Jenny. I'm going to jump up and just move over so I can aim at. I'm... So you want to move and then shoot? Yeah. As well too. Yeah. Okay. Are you coming up to the to the far side from where yeah. I am? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well then that's gonna be... You're, just, you're peeking around the corner of that. Yeah, just so I can get a shot yeah. at the, the guy. Band-Aid. 
Uh, I don't know what's happening. Yep. So, no, you've been so banging gonna, on. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna stop and then right. use the moment to like quietly peek out the door to see assess the situation. Oh, I love All right, Ray. That voice. Um, oh I am gonna aim at uh, the other guy without the bat. He is uh -huh. not injured. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And he's I, also being targeted by Rafe. I too will take him. Great. All right, so then you'll take um, Just take him. Well, because right. again, you're not you moving. Get you get reduced down to one yeah. for marksman, <clears throat> so all good. Which dial were you focusing down? Well, I'm just moving right now, right? You can I move can't. and shoot. No, no you can move and shoot. shoot. Yeah. That's yeah, why you so got two, two just, speed die. I mean, whoever's closest to me, I want They're wanna... both. They're two Bad. on the cool. hand cart. You'll Bad. see so that. So right now, we have two people focusing down the guy with the gun. Okay. That guy is already injured, and okay. I'm going to focus okay. him down, too. They're close oh, enough together that if you just wanted to target all the individuals on yes. the rail car, yes. I would we'll like to do that. that. Yeah, I just want to do that. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Then... Okay. So I need three speed dice, probably. Jenny's up there. Raise their sash. Hello. Yes, I'd like. I'd like to peek, like just cartoon style, like under Jenny, like. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Both of our heads just peek at the same time. I'd like to peek Me and. We're doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, we are really. I love the slide. I'd like to peek and shoot at uh, the bat person. Okay, so another one of the guys in the hand cart. All right, so uh, you can, you're not moving. You're just you're just looking <clears throat> and you're taking more speed dice. <clears throat> Man, you guys, you just they're so out in the open. They're just taking it. So that's bad planning on their part. Yeah, it's I know. true. <laughs> and don't steal from us. And be afraid of box cars. <laughs> yeah. of box cars. <laughs> There's a lot of lessons to learn here. Yeah. So Asher, you you've got you, because you're marksman, you're just dealing with the one speed dice as well too. Nope. You know what's up. Uh, all right, everyone. I do know what's up. Okay. Uh, roll your checks. For the resolve, the resolution. Ah, Curses! Oh. <laughs> Banding, as you peer out through the box very car, very carefully, very carefully, <laughs> you actually, as you look around, you can see Wraith holding his bow as he's about ready to do a draw and pull, and you can see the body of several raiders. One of them is just doubled over in pain as he seems to be bleeding out on the floor there. One just has an arrow through his neck mm -hmm. as he's laying across the railway. And then you can constantly hear it from J uh, Jenny's. That was a good uh, sound, man. Yeah. Awesome. Good sound. Of Jenny's uh, AK-47 has had it, it has it rattled out a few times cool. at this stage. So you're winning. winning. Yes. Yeah. Go team. Go team. <laughs> so I'll slowly like inch my way out of the box. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Asher and Stingray, you're up next with a three. Yes. Okay. I rolled five success. Okay. <laughs> Give me. Great. We have this. Mm -hmm. This is great. It is. You were targeting gunman in the back or bat dude? Gunman in the back. Gunman in the back. <clears throat> the uh, raider on the back with the machine gun He's was basically guy. spraying as he was hopping onto the to the. That's hand the guy that I was Copy aiming that. at. At the very least, I want to just deal with the people on the cart as best I can. Okay. Because even if she fails miserably, but I can still chip away that's at these guys. Miserably. That's that's not miserable. Not miserable. <laughs> that is the it's a gentle failure. Pretty, pretty miserable. That is the double-edged sword of resolving degrees of success and degrees of failure. I'm feeling that sword. Yes. I'm feeling that sting. Ooh. Okay, so I roll one damage so far, which is just fantastic. I haven't pulled out my sword yet. Right. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna roll some more. So that's the Batman, the hat that human. Guy. Oh wow! I, I'm never that gonna dude. learn. Yeah. I'm never gonna that learn. Dude. It can never be one thing. No. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. So that's five, seven, eight. He gets a total of eight damage on that person. So as you fire. Yeah, basically your pistol into it. You are basically peppering these guys as they're attempting to move the cart. They have no cover. They're completely exposed. Oh, yeah. And you can see that they are taking taking hits and it is hurting. And uh, the same way that uh, his comrade on the hand cart is moving, you can see that you can start to watch his blood is starting to trickle down his leg as you've potentially hit him either in the oh leg or the god, hip. Oh my god, die already. Hello? <laughs> oh, oh god! Oh, just keep it moving! Just get the cart out of here! Ah! As you can see, as every single pump of that uh, hand cart is just agony for them. Good. I'm going to target the guy in the back. Okay. Okay. Uh, seven against the guy in the back. All right. Explain to me his grisly demise. Oh. Yes! <laughs> That's going to be my new favorite phrase. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. He's pumping, he's pumping. Has he been hit yet? Yes. Oh, he's, he's already He's damaged. bleeding. Right, right. He's bleeding and he's hurting. So he's pumping, he's pumping. With every pump, every exertion, fresh blood oozes from his existing wounds. Yeah. And I peek out, Jenny's like right there, her hair's in my face. I'm like, oh, it's fine. 
And then I... <laughs> it's elegantly braided. <laughs> I raise my gun, put a couple shots into the guy in the front. He's still pumping, he's still going at it. I'm like, ah, oh, God, okay, fine. Go to the guy in the back, and I aim, steady my breath, squeeze one final shot off and get him perfectly center mass through a chink right there, through the yeah. opening yes. in his body armor. Yep. So it cuts sideways through his torso. Yep, and you basically just take it through his heart and he drops without even a gasp as he falls down onto the hand cart. You watch as the cart is slowly start to move as his body, more of the more of his weights off the cart than on slumps over the side of the cart mm. as it begins to move and creak forward. Um, let's uh, roll your depletion. See how you're doing no. on the capacity, no. man. Oh. All right. So click, click, click. Yeah. As you basically fire out this last shot, you feel your slide pull back as uh, you are fresh out. Someone else get him. So as your slide pulls back, you watch it pull out, and this guy, who is currently still moving forward, he begins to continue to pump, but he's only got about 15, 20 feet of he's moving but it's, he's only about 15 or 20 feet away from the actual area where this encounter has started at the moment before. He's just <gasps> gasping <gasps> as he can barely start to move the rail cart anymore. So to clean this up, these basically two men on the hand cart are either bleeding out or just they're non-combat. Uh, they're either hurting or they're doubled over or they're bleeding out or dying at this stage of things. So Ray, to resolve your two degrees of failure, I hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna buy these off of you for risk at this stage. I, I do mind, but I'm just <laughs> gonna have to give that over to you. Yeah, sorry, it's mine. So, as you basically finish your long line of expletives and pop off that last shot, you look to the side of your eye and you can actually see on the top of these set of box cars doubled up a lone figure standing on top oh, come on. of it as he looks around and you can see with the kind of morning light pushing it from the back of him, illuminating him in this morning light. You just hear a long... Oh. 